I don't feel like doing laundry. Well, you'd better do it. Otherwise, you will have nothing to wear tomorrow. I know, but I'm just feeling a bit lazy now. But you're right. I have to get it done. Yeah, I'll help you, so it won't be that bad. I don't feel like doing laundry. Well, you'd better do it. Otherwise, you will have nothing to wear tomorrow. I know, but I'm just feeling a bit lazy now. But you're right. I have to get it done. Yeah, I'll help you, so it won't be that bad. Structure 68. You'd better plus a verb. The English structure "you'd better" plus a verb is used to give advice or make a suggestion about something that you think would be a great idea for the listener to do. It's often used to convey a sense of urgency or importance, and can sometimes come across as forceful or directive. Therefore. It's important to use it in a context where the listener will be receptive to your advice. To use this structure correctly, you need to know that "you'd" is a contracted version of "you had," and after "you'd better," you need to use an infinitive to talk about the action you suggest. Or, in other words, the verb you use here has to be in its base form. But the most important thing here is how you finish the sentence. In most cases, you need to use a clause or a phrase to explain why the listener should do or should take the suggested action. One of the most common clauses you can use here is an if clause. For example, you'd better hurry if you want to catch the bus. Here we have the part you'd better hurry to suggest the person be quick. And the if clause, if you want to catch the bus, is to give the person the reason why they should be in a hurry. So here we basically say, "Be fast, or you'll miss the bus." As of now, I hope that you already understand how to use this structure correctly. Now let's watch some of the short clips for this structure. Well, you better have a very clear definition of what that is if it's going to be one of your main obsessions. Young lady or young yeah. man? Yeah. <laughs> But you better believe, like, if I messed it up, we had to start again. Uh, as a matter of fact, if it is your behavior, you better go outside yourself and find something so that it's not you're not just being you. And you better believe that they think that they're Brad Pitt and that we we are the zombies. And here are some other examples so you can practice along. And the first one is, you'd better study hard if you want to pass the exam. And the second time at a slower speed, you'd better study hard if you wanna pass the exam. And the second example, you'd better be careful when you cross the street. Second time at a slower speed, you'd better be careful when you cross the street. Now, don't forget to go back to the short conversation that I had with Maddie at the beginning of this video, and shadow along. When you shadow along, it's gonna help you not only match up our intonations, pronunciation, and speed, but also it's gonna help drill deeper in your head for this structure. And to help you shadow better with all the conversations we created, along with this YouTube channel, we have already created a website for you guys where I broke all the audios. Of the conversations into smaller pieces, so there's an icon next to each line for you to click on and listen to the audio before repeating or imitating. That way, your shadowing section is going to be a lot easier and more effective. And if you like this type of content and would like us to make more of this, so you can learn more, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out any of our future videos. And I also hope you're having fun with this structure. Until the next one, bye.